It's been a point of emphasis for us defensively that we can set the tempo. With both those guards being as athletic as they are, we've got athletic wings. We can extend our pressure a little bit more. And they still got to be comfortable for a reading situation. We don't want to open the floodgates, but we need more aggressive. Victor was just saying he told him that he got to slow down. Yeah. He was playing a thousand on yeah. offense, but he can make a difference defensively. You saw the lay it thing went up and snatched out there. That's right. really impressive. No, he's you know, extremely athletic. We've seen plays from him like that before. He's just got to pick his spots and, and realize when to do it and then kind of back off and play the score, time to score. What's, what were your impressions of how he played and how he I think both guys uh, had some first game jitters. Uh, defensively, he was great. He did a nice job late, late in the game of controlling the tempo, keeping us organized. And I just think for us, it's going to be a process. That was their first sniff of NBA game speed. And, you know, that's some of the game speed. So it's probably more than they're used to. It's still something they have to get accustomed to. Yes, have you seen Devin shoot the ball like that in practice so far? You've had four or five practices right. throughout the day and, and shot it with a lot of confidence. No, he, al he always has. Um, I, was, I was telling the Brooklyn office guys. I'm surprised how, how comfortable he's been, even though defensively, mm -hmm. understanding the nuances of the game and reading and assessing situations. Mm -hmm. It's been very good for us. Wes, with, I know all the summer league teams are young, but really this Orlando Magic entire roster is going to be young. Are wins a little more important, being able to pull those out, feel that, that right. what a victory is? I, I mean, I think it's good for, uh, anytime you step on the floor, you want to win. You don't want to leave the floor with that bad taste in your mouth. But at the same time, you know, we got to understand this process. And if we can win the right way now, that helps us come this fall. Yes, Victor was coming off the screen and he was reading it really well mm -hmm. and shooting with confidence. Mm -hmm. And you could see, like you said, that the game has slowed down for him. Did you see that at times tonight where it looked like he was maybe more comfortable in pick and roll? A lot, a lot more. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the more we can put him in those situations, the better. He has to read it and assess situations and read how the defense is going. What are your impressions of Aaron Gordon's maturity? He's only 18, but. Yeah, sometimes you forget. He's matured beyond his years. They're focused. I mean, him, he, I think uh, even Devin, you just don't realize how young they are. Coach, can I ask you about Seth Curry? Yeah, what, did, what did you see from him? And mm -hmm. that's the shooting that he yeah. was built to, to have, right? Well, no question. I mean, that's kind of his role, is to make shots. And uh, I mean, he can handle the ball force at times, but. Yeah. He's got to be a shot maker. How comfortable handling the ball has Aaron been in, in these five practices that you had? Um, you know, it's, he's, he has ups and downs. I think the more he gets accustomed to playing in our scheme, he'll get more comfortable. Coach, short term with these guys for this week, what is the main priority or focus? Is just, that... just learn to play the right way. I mean, we've established a defensive mindset. And getting these guys to uh, just stay aggressive defensively. Offensively, you know, it'll come. Everyone good? Yep. All right, we have Alfred here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.